Hello everybody, this is my discussion on the Mike Levy incident. Now, I've, there's been, sorry, uh, there's been a lot of talk about this on forums. Uh, I've read the, the story, you, you know, what people have been saying on the IWA and South forums, um, on other forums and their perspectives on it. I'm going to give you my opinion. I want to hear yours. I don't want to hear anything insulting. Uh, I've made this clear with annotations in my videos. You leave anything stupid, I'll block you, I'll delete your comments. Um, but basically the situation was Mike Levy uh, was uh, an internet um, made a name for himself on the internet and he wanted to get you know booked on um, uh, IWA Mid-South's King of the Death match not very smart to begin with so yeah and then and then so he they put him in Queen of the Death match and they put him against Mickey Knuckles anyway Mickey Knuckles and him have this match and they beat the crap out of each other he he stiffs her and she stiffs him back and he puts a fucking bump in her forehead and they think that's going to hurt her on TV. Anyway, and he was no selling her stuff and basically he he was untalented and looked complete nearly completely untrained. Anyway, what happened next was you had Devin Moore, Tank, and Ian Rotten come out and help beat on this guy, and it was for about let me think would have been over five minutes, right? Just beat him and beat him and beat him and then run hitting him with a crutch telling him to stay down. Uh, a curb stomp onto a fucking ladder covered in barbed wire. It was basically fucking sickening and repulsive what they were doing. And basically humiliating. They had Ian Rotten's son, or people have said it's Ian Rotten's son, I'm not sure, maybe, um, fucking get involved, like kicking the guy, hitting him with a kendo stick, um, throwing a light bulb into his head, and then... Uh, and the thing is, they say, oh, but it was a work. Yeah, it's a work and you're getting fans involved. And if it is a work, how does that get your... And Devin Moore, Tank, uh, Ian Rotten, they're all supposed to be faces, and then they're ganging up on this guy. How is that supposed to get them any sympathy as faces, you know? And, and he's the heel, and he's getting beaten down by all these people. If it was a work, it was extremely stupid. And if it was a work, why would you put him in a match with Mickey Knuckles in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. You know, you know he's untalented. You know he's... You, you pretty much called him a backyard wrestler. And then you put him in a match with... Mickey Knuckles. And when she gets a bump in her head... You, you, you proceed to assault her. Now, yes, he's an untalented worker. But... That's, well, a shitty worker. I wouldn't even call him a worker. But he's shitty at... You know... Uh, uh, he's a shitty wrestler. But that doesn't excuse you to be shitty human beings. And pretty much... Uh, humiliate him. Okay, it was just fucking sad. Um, I mean, the thing is, IWA Mid South struggles for a reputation already. There are already people who bag them and bag them and bag them on the internet, and it's just going to get worse now because now they have more firepower. Why would you book it in the first place if it was a work? I mean, it just doesn't make any fucking sense, you know. And it's like, and you had Billy Graham come out and say, oh. You know, he he gave his fucking thing on it, saying, "Oh, but he was working as he was using it to get himself over." Yeah, he was working you while you had three people beating on him uh, non-stop. And yes, I guess I can see how it was work or how it could be seen as work because he didn't fight back and he sort of just sat there and took it, and it was a paying your dues type of thing. But that uh, that is just fucking ridiculous, you know. Yeah, you first you, you're punishing him. For, you put him in the ring with Mickey Knuckles, which is stupid. And when he does, when he fucks up because he's got no training, and you know he has no training, you, you be, you know, have a, a three-on-one, four-on-one assault on him. You fucking put his underpants over his feet so he's sit, fucking stuck on his stomach. That was odd. And, you know, it's it's just fucking repulsive and... Sorry, fixing the camera here. And anybody who can really defend it is... Uh, pretty much... Uh, uh, ignorant or fucked in the head too. Because there are people standing there, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life, of four on, three on one, four on one beating. It's like... And the thing is... Even if Michael Levy wanted to press charges, he couldn't do it because it's pro wrestling and it would just get thrown out. Because so, technically it's a work because everything in pro wrestling is fake, right? 
you know, it does make sense to me. You know, the guys in IWA Mid South have lost all my, uh, you know, lost a lot of respect from me, and you know, I won't be getting any more of their DVDs. It's it's as simple as that. Yeah, you know, I was glad they gave Dingo the the because you know he's a fellow Australian the world title, but yeah, you know, that was just stupid. One to book him in the first place, and then to to beat on him for, for something for booking him, which was stupid. As I said, you booked him, and then you got upset with him because he was shit. And you knew he was shit, and he hurt one of your wrestlers. So you pretty much did that to yourself, and then you beat him down for it, and then you try to claim it was it was work. Yet you have fans getting involved, and and, and Billy Graham in his thing said, "Oh, um, you know, Ian Rotten's not a bad dad. He he just let what's his face, um, his the twelve year old attack the guy because he saw his big sister, you know, getting hit." And it's like, well, I thought it was a work, you know. Well, if it was a work, wouldn't you keep the kid not involved? It's just very contradictory, basically what he said. Um, and then, you know, afterwards saying, oh, but, you know, he was working us. Yeah, he was working you all right. Yeah, getting a, a three-on-one beatdown like that. You know, it's lucky he wasn't more seriously injured, and it's lucky he wasn't killed. Okay, yes, he's un yes, he's a shitty wrestler, but it's, as I said, no excuse to be shitty human beings. Um, he had no place in the ring, and you knew it, and you took advantage of that fact. And... <laughs> And then took advantage of him. You could say he took advantage of you, yeah, but he wasn't the one that was beaten down fucking four on one. And then one of the funniest things I found about this was Ingram Rotten sitting there going, Look what she did to her head after the beatdown. Look what she did to her head. She's got TV, she's got a career. And then in front of sixty fans, she breaks the leg. Now I wish her well and I hope she recovers. But I have a lot less sympathy for her now than I did before. And when the, when the annual IWA sympathy thing comes along and they say, oh, we need money because we're going out of business, we need money because so-and-so is sick, they're not getting any of mine. I've given uh, a lot of money to IWA, IWA Mid-South through DVDs, but uh, frankly, I just find this pretty disgusting. And the fact that they're booking him again means <coughs> I, I, one of a few things. One, it was a work, and even then, if it was an angle, it's a pretty fucking disgusting angle at that, and is fucking tasteless I mean tasteless and doesn't deserve any attention and or you know two they're booking him again to make it seem like it was an angle so you go oh no we're, we're, we're booking him again so it really was an angle you know it's it's worse than the mass, mass transit thing um, as Dave from Elsa said it was it, he was um, appalled at it Brian Alvarez was appalled at it, I am, and anybody who tries to defend it really, I mean, yeah, you can make defences for it, but uh, I, I don't see how you can uh, defend it, fucking something that disgusting. You know, work or not, it was revolting and has no place in wrestling, it it really doesn't, it was a, it was a three, four on one beating, and yeah, the guy tried, the guy didn't fight back, and so, which m leads me to assume it may have been a work, or he was thinking, thinking he was paying his dues by taking the beating and, and jumping when he was getting suplexed and shit, shit, but it was fucking revolting and stupid and has no place in wrestling, and I've just lost a lot of respect for the guys, and, you know, uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of negative feedback from uh, either IWA Mid South fans or wh whoever, but, you know, I don't care because. It was just a disgusting thing, and a disgusting incident, and it's not something I am a fan of. If any company did that, I I, I wouldn't be fucking. Out. I wouldn't continue to support them because that was pretty fucking disgusting. Um, I know for a fact that Mike Levy isn't mentally handicapped, but he's not fucking work. And another thing Billy Graham said was, "Oh, he, he was working the crowd. Oh, he was working us." Oh yeah, because he's he's a, he's working you on the level Brian Pillman worked everyone, you know, in the nineties. Yeah, it really seems like it. Anyway, thanks for your time. Leave your comments. Nothing insulting, or it gets deleted and you get blocked. Thanks. Bye.